So here we have the Honda HRV automatic on a 19 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the boot, you can see we have reversing sensors. This car's got plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer in the middle. And on the right-hand side, you can see the fuel gauge and also the total miles of this car, which are 10,564. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, uh, we have phone controls on the bottom and then stereo controls up the top here. And on the right-hand side, controls to change the trip computer information and then cruise control and speed limiter as well. Over in the center, we have the touchscreen for the car, which includes uh, satellite navigation. There's a full video that shows how this works that you can find on our website and also on our YouTube channel as well. You can pair your phone from here uh, and we have audio as well. So in terms of the ways in which you can listen to music, uh, up the top here, you'll see that we've got uh, medium wave, long wave, FM and DAB radio. We have a CD player. We have uh, USB input, iPod input. We've got, even got HDMI input. You can stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. And on top of all of that, this car's also got a full color reversing camera. So as well as the parking sensors I mentioned, you also have this camera with guidelines showing you what direction the car is headed in in relation to the image that you see being shown on the screen there. And you can change uh, the kind of setup of that image should you wish to as well. Working our way down, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperatures. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. When you're happy with those settings, the air conditioning is off and on via that button just there. Um, or you can hit auto. The car will now take control of the direction of the air and the fan speed to maintain the temperatures you've asked for. You can override that simply by readjusting the fans. You can recirculate the air that's in the car as well. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly depending on the temperature you've set. And you can turn that off just as easily as you turn it on. You can turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. Uh, that, hitting that button will turn that system off. We have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. And then finally, electronic handbrake with auto hold function. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.